Now, it's the voice of the internet now and the UK editor of Boxing Scene. Welcome, if you're listening for the first time from Boxing Scene. His name is Terry Dooley, and I spoke to him a bit earlier. Terry, I said, is there one particular fight, Big Till, that you would like to see? His answer was classic. Now, I just finished, remember, talking to Mike Costello, and then you heard what he said about Audley. Anyway, here's Terry Dooley with his choices. It's a bit of a strange one, but I quite fancy Tyson Fury against Audley Harrison. I'm a massive fan of Audley, and I'm still on the Audley train, and I think he could really give Tyson a test in a good fight. You know what? Terry, I'm with you, but on this show so far, okay, I've had people that have laughed that out, and then I've had other people suggesting it, and it just shows that Big Audley is still a guy that people talk about. And it could be similar to the Rogan fight. He had a great fight with Rogan, so I don't see why this one couldn't be the same. It's an accurate punch of Audley, so he tossed Tyson's chin, and we know Tyson would put some shots out, so I think it'd work, and it could sell on TV. And I tell you what, it'd be lively at the press conferences. Yeah, it'd be ridiculous. Tyson's not short of the word or two, and oddly he's got his positive visualisation and uh, perception's not always reality, so it'll be a fun press conference. <laughs> hey, listen, I know, and I have been reminding people of what happened in the build-up to the David Hay, Audley Harrison uh, spectacle, how everybody, you know, there was that massive percentage of people that thought that it, Hay was in a you know, win-win-win, and then by the time of fight time, half of them had come around and half the people thought Audley could win. So he does persuade you, doesn't he? can get inside your head. He can hypnotise people. He's a great talker. And as I say, put in front of the camera and he can convince you of anything. And a lot of people might look at the fight, look at his pedigree and say, you know what, if I did a big left hand on Tyson's chin, it could be Timber. Oh, Timber indeed. What, what, else is, what else is out there, Terry, that you'd like to see in the next uh, nine or ten months? Well, I think I'd like to see a rematch down the line, maybe when Kevin's picked up a title, if the John Murray-Kevin Mitchell fight. I thought that was a real trade performance from both guys. It's the kind of fight that could have taken place 20 years ago at the York Hall. Both men turn up on the tube, mm. carry their own bags, go to the ring and beat Seth and Bells out of each other, then go for the Nuggets juice afterwards and talk about it. You know what? You're so right about that, Terry. That's, that, that fight is a fight that would stand the test of time. And I know for a fact, I, I know from talking to both Mitchell, Murray and their people, that I'm convinced that rematch will happen. Let Kevin pick up a title. Let John get some sort of win under his belt. And that, that could happen. What else, Terry? You get, you get three choices tonight. Three choices. It sounds crazy, but I'd like to see James Tony back in against meaningful opposition. I know James came back last year against Damon Reed and looked uh, unimpressive, but he's a long-term favourite of mine, and he's another guy who can talk up a fight. He's entertaining. I wonder, I wonder if Tony could get a licence here, but I doubt it. But if he could, oh, Holyfield couldn't that time, I remember that. But if he could get a licence here, I tell you what, the press conferences would be fun for that one as well, wouldn't they? And people have turned out to see him. Yeah, they would, man. He's yeah. these days, but he's a modern-day legend and yeah. he has uh, sublime skills. So, uh, just as a fan, I'd like to see Tony do something again, but I know it's uh, unlikely at the moment. Terry, and finally, you've got to give me a British one now, but not necessarily a British ch- championship fight. Give me a British fight that you'd put your pad down, pay your tenner, get your orange juice and sit back and enjoy. What would it be? I'd like to see a fight Joey Selkirk, a Liverpool prospect, yeah. step up to against title opposition. I mean, Joey, he can really crack, and his, uh, his hands are filled up now. He's got boxing ability as well, so when his weight settles over the next couple of fights and he gets some good wins under his belt, I think he could go with any of the big guys. Now, listen, I think, yeah, Selkirk has come up with both online and in the emails to me quite, quite often. I'm pleased you've name-checked him. Terry Dooley, thanks so much. No problem, Steve. Keep up the good work. He's a nice kid, Terry. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't always have nice things to say about internet writers, but he's solid. He's been out there. He doesn't overwrite. Keep-